here is the next example in this example he is asking us um, or he gave us information it's a y connected load a delta connection balanced load uh, vca equal to 208 at an angle of minus 30, 330 degrees iaa equal to 30 at an angle of minus 30 degrees find the load impedance so clearly he mentioned the balanced load okay if it is a balanced load that indicates that each branch of that load has the same value of impedance so a we always take i mean for the load i always take small letters a b c okay so here he's asking about this he gave us v c a sorry i used the capital letters but it must be small letters okay he gave you this value as 208 at an angle of minus 330 degrees and IAA he gave us this current as 30 at an angle of minus 30 degrees now to find this line impedance I mean line or phase in this case phase impedance to find the phase impedance we need to know the phase values VPH over IPH phase voltage over phase current okay so whichever phase it is we have to use the same phase values of if this is phase A we have to use the phase A values so to find um, phase A impedance it must be VAN over I can say IAN okay now he gave you this value as IAA which is line current in Y connection immediately you need to remember line current equal to phase current okay so this must be IAN okay I already have IAN as I suppose it is a small letter but sorry I'm using a capital letter there let me use small letter VAN over IAN Okay, IAN must be same as 30 at an angle of minus 30 degrees. In this case, the given value and required value are the same. Now, I need to find VAN. But he gave us, what is what is the value he gave us? He gave us the VCA. Okay, so VCA, let me make this a small letter. VCA equal to... 208 at an angle of minus 330 right so based on this can I find VCN so VCN I got the line value so I'm finding the phase value so V line equal to square root 3 times V phase since I want to phase value VPH equal to VL over square root 3 VCN must be 208 over square root 3 at an angle of minus 330 okay and at the same time in y connection there is a phase angle between the line and phase voltages let me write okay that statement is line voltage leads phase voltage by 30 degrees okay so if i draw the i mean so i need to either add or subtract 30 degrees we'll find whether to add or subtract in a second so he gave us VCA so here is the reference axis which is x-axis VCA equal to minus 330 so somewhere there right that's my VCA um, that's pause to 30 degree angle because this must be 330 now where will be the VCN based on this the line voltage leads the phase voltage by 30 degrees so that's 30 degrees the vcn must be right there because vca is leading the uh, it is leading um leading 30 degrees vcn right so how do you know that is leading you're going to stand at one point rotate the vectors in anti-clockwise direction when you rotate the vectors in anti-clockwise direction your vcn um, vca is going to come first so that is coming that's leading vcn the line voltage is leading phase voltage by 30 degrees 
so vcn is going to be right there so are we going to add or subtract so in this case it's a minus so vcn equal to 208 over square root 3 at an angle of minus 360 minus 360 is nothing but zero so 208 over square root 3 i can say 120 at an angle of zero now i have vcn but i want van so van equal to 120 vbn equal to 120 at an angle of vcn equal to 120 at an angle of zero so i gave you vcn to get vbn add 120 degrees to get van add another 120 so 240 okay so your van is going to be somewhere here at 240 degrees okay this is my van so this basically this is minus 120 degrees now i have van equal to 120 at an angle of 240 so van equal to 120 at an angle of 240 okay what is the impedance here impedance equal to 120 over 30 which is 4 at an angle of 240 minus minus of minus 30 which is 4 at an angle of 270 degrees that's how that's our line impedance so when i convert this into rectangular format it is 0 minus j4 so the line impedance is 0 minus j4 o so in this example he clearly mentioned it's a delta connected balanced load he gave you ibb and vab he's asking about load impedance so let me draw a load delta load okay so here is the load impedance okay i always follow um, clockwise direction that's also called uh, that's also called positive phase sequence we'll talk about phase sequence in the next video so don't worry about that at this point so here he gave us that's our A, that's our B, that's our C. And we don't know what kind of source it is, either delta connected source or, or star connected source. We don't need to worry about that at this point. So he gave you VBB, so he gave us this current as 30 at an angle of minus 50. And he gave us the voltage across this as 208 at an angle of 30 degrees. Okay. Now, it's a delta connected load. Immediately, we need to know VAB, which is the line value, equal to phase value. So, in delta, line value equal to phase value. So, that VAB must be equal to VAN. Okay. So, why am I converting into VAN? To find the phase impedance, I have to use the phase values. So to find impedance, phase impedance, ZPH equal to VPH over IPH. So what is the current flowing through that branch and voltage across that branch? The voltage across that branch is VAN. I need to find the current there. So that current equal to, so when it comes to the current here, so this must be IAA, IAA is going to come and this is the current iab okay so all i need find iab okay so this is from this i can find ibc okay so from ibb i can find ibc what is ibc so in delta connection phase current equal to or square root 3 times phase current equal to line current sorry i'm saying current and drawing the uh, indicated the voltage so square root 3 times i ph equal to line current at the same time one more statement you should remember line current lags the phase current by 
30 degrees. So if I give you IBB, which is the line current 30 at an angle of minus 50. So if I draw the vector diagram for this, minus 50 is going to be somewhere there. Okay, that's 50 degrees. This is IBB. That's a line current. What is the phase current? IBC. IBC must be 30 divided by square root 3 at an angle of minus 50 and it must be I mean the line current lags the phase current so phase current is coming first so this must be phase current which is IBC IBC equal to so plus 30 degrees because this angle is 30 degrees okay so we will end up with minus 20 degrees so 30 divided by square root 3 is 17.32 at an angle of minus 20 degrees. Now I have IBC, but our goal is finding IAB. IAB is also 17.32 at an angle of minus 20 plus 120 degrees. So which is 17.32 at an angle of 100 degrees. Now our phase impedance ZPH equal to VAB over IAB. We have VAB equal to 208 at an angle of 30 degrees. So it is 208 at an angle of 30 and IAB equal to 17.32 at an angle of 100 degrees. So this value is 12 at an angle of 30 minus 100 so 12 at an angle of minus 70 degrees that's our impedance let me convert that into so when we can this convert this into rectangular format that value is 4.1 minus j 11.27 ohm that is the line impedance i'll stop this video here we'll continue more examples in the next video thank you